Ah, uh, Beasel. I have Miso. My Archie Bunker is so poor. So sad. The old chair is completely destroyed. I mean, look at this, man. Look at this chair. Look at this chair. Whatever. I'm not here to talk about Archie Bunker. We're talking... Well, all my stuff's falling apart, man. Everything's fucking falling apart. All my equipment, all my stuff's all falling apart. But whatever, that's not the topic of the video. Not particularly. I broke my 360 uh, Elite. The front plate on it cracked because uh, if you look at the videos I've done on that system or just heard me talk about it, weak disk drive, which I found out recently is a common problem with 360s, especially the fat ones. Elite or not elite, man, just any of them. And the disk drive gets weak and it doesn't come out unless you slam it or do a paperclip thing or whatever, man. But I would always do that paperclip thing to get it to come out. So I would push on it, I would smack the console, and the disk drive wouldn't come out. It would get so stubborn. So I decided to, or what I would always end up doing is pop the front plate off, stick that paperclip in there, get the drive to come out. And that always works. But in taking it off, couple days ago I cracked the, the front plate clean right down it was like whoop cracked like man you gotta be kidding me but that front plate's already messed up the little I think it might have broke the mechanism too but it's taped on so it doesn't matter uh, the, the front USB flap of the door it broke probably in chip and I don't know because it didn't look messed up in the listing when I bought it but when I got it, that door was broken, which is a common problem. And I'm amazed that my other systems don't have that problem on their front plates. But, so that thing broke. Luckily, it's black, so it's not as noticeable as if it had been a white one. But, yeah, it's bullshit, man. So that broke. Uh, my sound system, I can tell the right speaker is starting to get a little shitty. I get some crackling on that guy. Like, man, you gotta be kidding me. It's still listenable, as of right now, but it's getting... It, I don't know how if it's gonna get much worse or what, but it's it's there. But the sound system still runs pretty damn well, overall. It works fine, just drive it and die or anything like that. It works good with everything that I've thrown at it, just a little bit of feedback, I guess you could say, coming from that right speaker. So that's unfortunate, but we'll see if it gets worse or if it just stays the same. Because, man, sometimes it just is that way, and you can't really fight it. And if so, then it is what it is, but if it's going to get worse, you're going to hear the kind of iMac crackling that I would get sometimes. That's going to be pretty bad. Be pretty bad. <laughs> uh, but my iMac speakers, they are still messed up, but I don't play them uh, as loud anymore. I, I'm cautious about what I play and at what volume I play certain tracks at, uh, or certain sounds at, so I don't have the same problem that I've had. Uh, the speakers are pretty good right now. They could get worse again. They were getting really bad at the end of 2020 and into 2021, but apparently... It's so weird, too, because like, you think it's because the speaker's ripping. It's just going to keep getting worse and worse, but no, if you if you leave it be for some time, it gets better. It doesn't make any sense, but whatever. But that's what it's been doing for me, so as of right now, speakers are going good on that guy. Speakers on my 2008 iMac, because I was pulling that thing out for some stuff. Uh, which is kind of interesting, but we'll get to this later. Um, the speakers on that have a little bit of crackling now. Uh, but it is what it is. All my speakers pretty much get some kind of crackling. My TV's been going out for about two years. Three, or two and a half. But it's not too bad. That has a blown, or a partially blown left, right speaker on it. The RCA TV that's over there. Uh, I'm trying to think. What else has blown out speakers? My phone, but that is what it is, man. Um, my Amazon Basic speakers are doing pretty good. They get some crackling. I don't play them too loud usually, though, so it's not a problem. Um, but yeah. My headphones. My headphones, uh, some of you may be familiar with the headphones. There's nothing here anymore, it's important. Nothing at all. Um, but you might be familiar with my old Sony headphones, man. Or like 
perfectly fitted to my head. Like I said, I'm wearing a beanie right now, but these are legendary headphones, man. They're actually pretty good for what they are. It's kind of the same thing with the iMac. Like, it, it, go, it goes in and out. It just depends, man. It really just depends um, what you're listening to for the crackling. You get some. You definitely get some. And then whether I want to go on this or not. Hey, look. Um, candle remote. If you watch the Deuce Brotherhood, you'll remember candle remote. Yeah. This guy, though, takes it to the top, man. This is the top. iPod. iPod Nano, third gen, 8 gig. Let's just gonna see. Oh, I turned it off, okay. Uh, but this guy, uh, this thing, I don't know how it's doing this, man. I don't know what exactly part of it is dying on me. I have to, uh, I know how I can test this now, man. I figured out how I can test this with this thing. I'm gonna have to get my iHome. I don't know if my iHome speaker's blowing out. I could probably also plug it into the sound system up there, uh, or a car. So I think the car system will work over USB in my car, the Ford Fusion. Um, I want to test it through the actual port, because when I listen to stuff through the headphone jack on this iPod, it this thing is going bad sound-wise. I can tell. I can just tell. It's definitely getting there, which sucks, but... Uh, iPod Nano. Yeah, so that thing, uh, this one's definitely going bad. I could, I could really tell. But, it still does work as of right now. The battery still holds a charge, which is impressive. The screen has always been slightly tilted on it. That's a common problem with these guys. Uh, but you'll remember this iPod Nano. If you have watched the channel before. Also, the, um, I don't know if I'm going to get the flake in this one, but <laughs> in this one, the, um, maybe it's the, no, it's not. I'm trying to get the flake. The, uh, hold switch seemed to, uh, change on its own without me do touching it very much, which is obviously not good. I did have adjust music on me one time, but I don't really use this too much anymore, but it isn't completely out of date. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Um, I still use the... I'll keep my iPods in here. I use this one all the time. This one should be on. Yeah, it's on. If you want to see magical... S okay. um, this one is in sync too. But this guy is what I use. I use a 160 gig classic that has dust under the screen, but it still works. Nothing wrong with it other than that. And this I have almost everything on. There's a lot of good music on this guy. Oh, no, no, this is out of date. This is out of date yesterday. I actually don't use the iPod so much anymore, but when I do use an iPod, I use this one. But it's up to date until, like, spring of last year, so like the last year of stuff that I've acquired or added to my library that I had beforehand, it's not on here, so. It is what it is, guys. So that one was on. If they are gonna uh, talk about iPods, then. Now I found something out. I found something out, guys. In uh, deliberation with these iPods. Uh, I have a 80 gig of this here. The 80 gig is built better than this guy, I'll tell you that, but um, it's a silver 80 gig, and that guy is, uh, the battery's crap. It actually expanded. But I found out on the iPod Classic, if your battery's fried, you can't use the device. Because you guys know I have the other Nano in there that, I, mean, I could just get it out, you know, already doing all this stuff. Um, two iPod Nanos. I have more iPod Nanos, but I don't have any more third gens. At least not yet. 
This one is a 4 gig, this one's an 8 gig. This guy doesn't hold a charge. Uh, but it still works if you plug it in. Like I can plug it into my iHum or whatever and this guy will still work perfectly. Uh, it yellowed pretty bad, but I mean it works fine when it's on that thing. Like So this is good for a car stereo or whatever where you're plugged in all the time. This thing works flawlessly for that. And as far as I'm aware, it will never stop due to the battery. Uh, and then this guy still holds the charge. But you can't do that with a classic. So once the battery's shit, you can't use the device unless you replace the battery. And it's like, God damn, man, because th that's like the thing that's going to go out. It's either going to be that or the hard drive. So far, my hard drive seems fine. But I can't guarantee anything. So... The Nano is the better product. This is the best Apple product ever made. I said it in the one vid, and yes it is. And I've had a lot more Apple products since then. I didn't have like any at that time, and now I have a ton. And this is the best one. Very, very cool product. It's a good unit. It's, uh, seen quite a lot of adventures. Been on quite a lot of adventures. But anyway. Be real in front of that. But it is what it is. <laughs> so talk about sound stuff, man. I'm there's so much great music that I have, man. I'll be showing a little bit of more music in my next pickups vid. Um, one of the things I'm not gonna get, I'll probably mention it in the pickups vid. I ordered a CD, but it's not gonna get here for quite a while. It's not, <laughs> which sucks, but um, I already own the whole album anyway. Uh, that's half and half, man. I'll buy albums that I really like if I already have them, uh, which I did for, like, uh, Vandergraaff, the present album, because that was hard to track down, man. That was hard to track down for me. Some of that stuff that I have up there, like Arthur Brown, I already had that. Um, or did I? No, I had some of Arthur Brown. Yeah, some of the stuff I bought, I already had it, but I liked it enough to buy it again on CD, or like, uh, yeah, some of the EU2 stuff I bought on CD, just because I think it's cool to have the CD for it, and the Biscat, for all the BIS stuff, man, with the Copyright and Access of America Copyright Strikes, man, they, may, they have a great CD catalog, really great, easy to find their CDs, because it's just all numbered, it's all numbered stuff, so instant search, you'll find what you're looking for, as long as you know what it is. On the catalog, you'll find it, and it's easy to keep track of them. But anyway, that's a separate thing. But CDs, and then there are some CDs that I'll buy if I've only heard a track on them or whatever, and then I hear the whole album. There's some albums I've bought that I haven't heard any tracks off of. But most of these I've heard at least one track off of, but some of them I haven't, because I just haven't listened to them yet. But I'll show some more CDs in the pickup it. Unfortunately, I think only... Uh, I don't know how many pickup, how many pickup, but how many CDs will be in the next pickup? But it might only be one or two. But because the one that I just ordered isn't gonna be here for a while, which sucks. But whatever. At least I still have the whole album. But you'll hear about that probably at a later time. I think it will be in a future pickup. So it probably end of the summer. But whatever. Whatever. We'll see where the fucking thing is at the end of the summer. That's what I'm telling you guys. Where are things going to be at the end of the summer? I have no idea. I'm just waiting to see myself. How does this thing play out? How does everything play out? I talked about my uh, departure soon video kind of stuff. There's a lot of other stuff uh, that I don't know if I should get into for expedience reasons, but where am I going to go? I don't know. I still have no idea where I'm going to go. The money will be available soon. It's later and less than I expected, but I'm getting the money getting that money and I'm hoping I think I'm gonna be out of here this year the only way that I won't be out of here this year is if uh, I can't find a place by the end of the year which is unlikely I'll have the ability to go whenever it's just a matter of finding a place that I want to go to and maybe I will uh, not do that until next year but I'm hoping it'll be this year so I'll be going eventually and I'll be out of here and I'll be taking all this stuff with me again and probably damaging furniture again like I did with this son of a bitch. Uh, and maybe this son of a bitch and I lost some stuff and I mean uh, furniture that's not in this room got damaged too so 
sucks, but it happens, man. It happens. So anyway, uh, like that Samsung TV, that thing is so scratched on the bottom, man. I'll have to do a bit on that at some point. I might, yeah, I might do a video on the uh, carpet powder. I might do a bit on carpet powder, just saying. Anyway, I see my camera starting to wobble, it's starting to come forward, so I'm probably going to end this vid pretty soon. I'm going to end the video, you bastards. You